Thursday morning, May 21st, to God be the glory for yet another opportunity to wake up to His goodness. Look at that. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. There you go. Go ahead. So, we are in the 30th chapter of Jeremiah, but the Lord put this in my heart, and like always, He responds with His Word. But uh, let me ask you a question. Do you have someone who is trying to manipulate or control you so that they will uh, receive uh, something from you? Perhaps maybe it's a worker, maybe it's a boss, and they have ulterior motives, and they're just trying to, to do things to get a desired revo result for their benefit. Hmm? It could be any setting. It could be a family member. It could be in the church. It could be in a school. It could be in a business. Wherever we have probably dealt with that, and we didn't name it as manipulation. Well, in Jeremiah 38, Jeremiah was put in a container, a cistern. Why? Because he was just telling the truth. And the people, the leaders did not like what he was saying. And so the leaders took ropes and they lowered him down into a container, a well full of mud, no water, nothing. Pretty much the king was like, you know what, y'all do what y'all need to do. My hands are out of this. Well, there was someone who was righteous, who was bold, who listened to the Lord, who feared the Lord. And his name was Ebed Melech. And the Lord wants us to be the Ebed Melech. So when we see that someone is being done dirty, who are being manipulated, the Lord wants us to be a spokesperson. And in the chapter, it says, Ebed Malik, verse 9, says, My Lord, he's talking to the king, my majesty, these men have done evil in all that they have done to Jeremiah the prophet, whom they cast into the dungeon. Don't you know that he will die in hunger? So pretty much they ordered the king the king ordered for the men to rescue Jeremiah. But it took Abed-Melech to, to speak up for him. The Lord wants to use his people, right, to be obedient to his voice. And pretty much the king asked Jeremiah, tell me what the Lord said. And Jeremiah was like, well, if, you, if I tell you the truth, you may kill me. And... You won't obey. You won't listen. And then the king finally said, oh, yeah, I, I promise you, the person, the, the being, the source who gave us life, I swear. Now, we're not supposed to swear, but it says, obey, and your soul shall live. So Jeremiah told the truth, look, surrender to Babylon, and your people will be saved. But if you stay here, because it all started because people were saying that Jeremiah was discouraging people, um, making them lose heart because he was telling the truth. But the Lord wants us to speak truth in the inward parts. Oh, we would have gone over that today. In Psalms 51, remember when David uh, sinned and he asked the Lord to create in him a clean heart and renew a right spirit. And it says in verse 6, it says, Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the in hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. So the Lord will guide you as far as your ways, how to deal with a manipulative situation. In the meantime, we are to hearken, we're to obey, we're to be that spokesperson, we are to set a watch over our lips, and the Lord would tell us, give us the direction when to open our lips and to speak in wisdom. And that's in Psalms 141, verse 3. But in the meantime, let's always hearken unto the Lord and let's know that he is the controller, not people. And he will use us in all situations. Have a good day in the Lord, being obedient.